welcome to my YouTube channel. This is my very first video here on YouTube and I'm very excited because for 2024 I really wanted to start my own channel. So maybe a bit about myself first. So my name is Solan, I am 25 years old and I recently moved to Paris. And the reason for that is because I was previously actually already working in marketing and communications in Munich in Germany, that's where I grew up. And I've always wanted to live here because half of my family is actually from France or from the Paris area. And then I applied to master's degrees. So that's what I'm currently doing. And I must say, I'm very happy to live here. I'm very grateful for all the opportunities that I have. And yeah, I thought I wanted to start vlogging to kind of show the Paris lifestyle. I also already have an Instagram where I'm quite active and I share a lot of fashion and beauty related topics and content over there. And then I thought YouTube would be a great um, kind of platform to merge all of the different topics because I also have a lot of hair content on TikTok. So I think YouTube can be a great platform for that. And yeah, I'm very excited for this very first vlog. I already started filming last week, so let's get into the video. And I would be so happy if you would subscribe to my channel and maybe leave a comment after this video too. to film in my bathroom but I have my phone on my mirror right now and I have this thing from Amazon and I have my light on my phone I think it's too heavy it always like slides off and I was just doing my eyebrows and I use just very simple like eyebrow pencils this one is from NYX for my eyebrows I really like to draw a little line underneath here in the front and then I smudge it out here because we don't want any harsh lines in the inner corners or like in the inner part of our brows and then I just lightly fill them in like so I haven't done a tutorial on TikTok yet but I got some questions because I was showing how I am able to make them hold with the brow freeze which I haven't used in a while it's also fun to have like a more like fluffy brow but I also like just this like just my natural brow shape I guess and yes I'm a little bit sick it's it's all right it's just my voice that is <laughs> not back to normal yet okay I think I'm giving up on filming with the phone on my mirror but I will order a new one a new thing to make it hold better and I'm just fixing my makeup with the Kaya That Dewy Look. And it's a fixing spray. And so far, I really like using it. And I feel like since being in Paris, my hair and skin have been very, very different. And my makeup wouldn't hold as well. So I'm trying everything I can to make my makeup hold longer, to make my hair look shinier and smoother because the water here is so so I don't know like full of pollution or like um I don't know what it's called in English calcaire and it's really bad for your hair it dries it out but this is from the hairdresser so it's very shiny and beautiful I will just get ready now or finish getting ready um I need an outfit and I will be going to a very exciting meeting and I will bring you guys along. I'm currently at the Cézanne store in Marais and 
I chose some really beautiful pieces that I will try on now and we are downstairs in the private try-on area which is sometimes open on Saturdays and this is what it looks like. It's very spacious. Everything here is absolutely stunning and I can't wait to try on the pieces. I love this sweater. Just look at this color and this detail. As you might have seen from my vintage um, shopping yesterday, I'm also on the hunt for a trench coat and Cezanne has one, but they didn't have my size, but I just wanted to see how it fits just for size referencing. And I think it looks so cool with this detail and just the one row of buttons. I think it still looks really good, but like in a 34, it would be even better. I just made myself some lunch and it's so delicious. I used to always make this when I was still living in Munich and it's basically Asian noodles with veggies and a specific sauce that I like to make and coriander. And what I usually do is I meal prep just some veggies and I like to do shiitake mushrooms, regular mushrooms, zucchini and broccoli. And I just fry them in the pan and that's it. No sugar, no salt, no pepper, nothing. And those were the noodles I used. I think those are Korean, but you can also just use Chinese ones. I just take whatever looks similar to this. I can't wait to eat this. I haven't had this in a very long time. And for the sauce, I always put in the same. It's sesame oil, soy sauce, maple syrup, uh, rice vinegar and then I think that's it and I also love to add this crispy chilean oil it's the best I can highly recommend this but I will make sure to put the recipe for this in the description box I'm just walking back from a pilates class it was a classic pilates class not a reformer pilates but um, still very interesting I rarely do it but it was actually um, pretty good but I think I prefer the reformer Pilates classes so I'm kind of yeah, to the week and I walk past a um, new brunch spot and it's called Oma so I think I will have to go there very soon Okay, so right now I'm in my little nook area in my kitchen and I'm preparing my smoothie and I've already put in some chia seeds and I'm also adding some oat milk. I bought this one in Paris, I don't know, I've been trying this one. I've had like 10 packets of oat milk from Germany which I brought that I love but now it's like I don't have any more so I bought this one. And I think it's fine. So I add this amount. I also added one like spinach cube and also half a banana, both frozen, which is so important. Otherwise, the smoothie won't be very tasty. And then what I like to add is also this Green Boost Organic Green Superfood Mix by Keanu. And I just, it's like a green powder, but you won't taste it. And I usually add like two teaspoons of that and I also add this um, spoonful amount of peanut butter into the smoothie this is a must as well I also added a couple of hemp seeds I need to repurchase in summer I bought this vegan protein powder which is a vanilla taste it has um, low sugars it's premium grade and also here on the back you can see it says vegan, egg-free, palm-oil-free, gluten-free, GMO-free, milk-free and yeah so a lot of positive aspects about this one and so far I've been liking it and the taste of this one is a bit artificial 
but it's okay and i will just add a lot of water like till here so it will neutralize the sweet um, taste of the protein powder and that's also why i only use half a banana okay so i just poured it into a glass and it makes around three full glasses and i will drink all three after my workout and let's do a quick taste test mm. The taste is so good and I've been doing this smoothie since the summer. It's really so good. I perfected the recipe. It's always so hard. I feel like when you use protein powder to make it taste very natural and not too sweet. But this definitely is such a good way to do a protein smoothie after your workout. And I can highly recommend I will put everything, all the measurements in the description box. I am outside now and I'm meeting a friend for a coffee and brainstorming for a group work and I'm wearing the jacket that I got yesterday oh my god it's so sunny I'm so happy My um, jacket blazer is from Cezanne. The coat is chocolate curated. Pants are from a little boutique from Seoul. And the shoes are flattered and socks are from Arquette. 